Hi, David. I'm Rocio Fajardo. I'm a Next Generation Ranger with Saguaro National Park. My name is Lupe Sotelo. I am also a Next Gen Ranger with Saguaro National Park. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, so today we came out to uh, take pictures of saguaro flowers. Right, as part of the phenology study that we're doing on saguaros to see what climate factors are triggering the flowering events each year. So we came out with a pole, basically a big selfie stick, and we rose it up, attached the camera to that, and uh, make sure we got uh, an aerial view of the top of the saguaro and took pictures of not just the top but also the arms of the saguaros. Okay, <laughs> still connecting. So it's, I mean, pretty low-key yeah, technology. Okay. We have a camera that's a Wi-Fi camera that connects to an iPad, um, but the rest of the equipment is just a PVC pipe and I think it's a flagpole, an extendable flagpole, but something that we found that we couldn't convert it into the big selfie stick that we're using. So my name is Don Swan and I'm a biologist at Saguaro National Park. So this is the uh, Saguaro Flower Power Project is the name that we're giving it. And we're really studying kind of uh, saguaro flowering, uh, the timing of it, um, and other aspects of, of how and, and when saguaros bloom. Uh, and of course when they set fruit. And it's funded by the Friends of Saguaro National Park, um, uh, who kind of generously given some funds so that we can support our, our interns and, and uh, other aspects of the project. What we're really interested in is, um, you know, is the, is the flowering of saguaros, the timing of the flowering of saguaros changing over time? So um, we're, we know that it changes from, from year to year based on some really interesting research that's been done by a guy named Bill Peachy over at Colossal Cave. So we're, we're focused on the Tucson Mountains because it's a different, um, it, it's lower in elevation and so the flowers bloom at different times uh, over on the west side of Tucson. And um, we're um, interested in kind of the timing of the, the budding of the flowers and of yeah, the fruit. Yeah, yeah. And um, we know that, that, that that timing can be affected by things like winter rain, you know, how much rain, temperature, solar radiation. So we're able to kind of relate that. Um, and over time, we should, we should know whether the, the timing of the flowering is changing. Uh, and we can also kind of relate that to some historic data that yeah. we have of when saguaros have bloomed in the past.